Why does Vanderpump Rules star Lala Kent believe that Rachel Levis should have returned for season 11? It was up in the air as to whether or not Levis would be coming back. Then it came out that she was contractually bound, but there may have been a loophole. Now, she is officially done with the show and the people from it, but Kent is not good with this. Why Lala Kent believes Rachel Levis should have returned for S11? When viewers last saw Lala Kent and Rachel Levis together, it was not a pleasant sight. Ken was going after Levis for what she had done to Ariana Maddox. Levis had been having a months-long affair with Maddox's boyfriend of almost a decade, co-star Tom Sandoval. More than that, she showed very little remorse and deceived everyone into thinking she was a sweet little angel. At the same time, Kent had not cared for Levis since she first popped onto the scene in season 5 and was dating James Kennedy. After the season 10 reunion, Levis went away to a mental health facility for around three months. Toward the end of her stay, season 11 started to film and it was unclear if she would return. Her contract said she was bound for the new season, but she could technically get out of it. If it would be detrimental to her mental health, then she could opt out or so it seemed. When Levis appeared on Just Be with Bethany Frankel, she confirmed she would not be coming back. Furthermore, she took a jab at Lala Kent for profiting off of her. She also noted that Kent was one of the few people who contacted her and wanted her back. Now, according to Us Weekly, Lala says that she believes Rachel should have come back for season 11. She discussed this on her Give Them Lala podcast and added that she has not listened to Rachel on Just Be. It is a travesty that she didn't end up coming back. She should have come back. I think she would have been very surprised. And instead, she went and did this podcast with Bethany, and she was manipulated yet again. Lies upon lies. The one thing that the Vanderpump Rules cast does seem to have a problem with is the lies that Rachel Levis keeps telling. Additionally, Bethany said that she felt Rachel should have been compensated properly for what she brought to season 10. However, Levis maintained that she had not seen a penny, which is also false. Lala Kent also cleared up some false narratives that Levis shared with Bethany. One of them had to do with how she now claims she and Ariana Maddox were not that close at all. There were things that she was then saying that were not perspective. It was a flat-out lie, and I can't imagine you believe what you're saying, Kent explained. She also detailed the Vegas trips the girls took where Rachel got extremely drunk and kissed Oliver Saunders. Levis then said some unkind things to Kent, but in her interview with Bethany, she alleged that the girls told her she was reality TV ratings gold. Kent stands by the fact that this never happened.